Which you guys got another video, Microsoft to force BitLocker encryption by default. Now, BitLocker was introduced to Windows back in Windows Vista 2004. To have BitLocker, you had to have Windows Pro versions and above to be able to use it. Uh, Windows Home versions never come with BitLocker installed. So a big change is coming. Microsoft have now introduced BitLocker as default. So that means it's going to be encrypting your data as soon as you install Windows 11 or as soon as you reinstall Windows 11. So I thought it would be a good idea to talk about it in this video. So basically Microsoft are trying to make Windows 11 more secure by encrypting your data uh, when you use Windows. But unfortunately, from my experience, this causes major headaches for people that don't understand what BitLocker is and how bad it can affect you when you want to recover your data. So Windows 11 24H2 version will reportedly have enabled BitLocker drive encryption for most computers. This means it will apply to fresh installs and reinstalls and disabling BitLocker is a bit of a pain, according to sources that I've been reading. So Microsoft began pushing BitLocker with Windows 11 23H2 update, which made BitLocker the default for new installations on supported systems. But what we're now seeing for 24H2 is that that setting expands to reinstallations on any system that has run 24H2 or later. Now, we still don't know all of the details because Microsoft haven't released any further information about it, but also it means that some Windows home systems could also be encrypted, but some of them may be spared. We just don't know yet. So also the new BitLocker default relies on the UEFI encryption flag. This means that some PC manufacturers might set that flag which means Windows 11 24H2 will require BitLocker. So in addition, after installing 24H2, many of these systems will flip that flag on, meaning that any time you reinstall Windows, this will require BitLocker to be used. And this can cause a lot of problems. Now, this is going to be mainly for uh, OEM systems and pre-built systems, but if you're running a custom-built system that you built yourself, then this should give you more control over the actual flag. So you should be able to avoid uh, having to install BitLocker on that system, whereas some of the other systems uh, from manufacturers, you won't have that control. So why are Microsoft doing this? Well, there is a good side to it, and there's also a bad side. The good side is it means your data is secure. If someone tries to take the drive out and put it into another computer, they won't be able to gain access to that data. Also, we all know that Windows passwords are not secure, so we can boot up into a live CD or a Windows WinPE environment and basically gain access to that data. But with BitLocker installed and active on the system, it means all of your data is encrypted. And this is where the security measure comes in. It's going to be more secure. But they're not realizing the amount of headaches it's going to cause a lot of people if they lose their key. And believe you me, this is a very common problem. People lose their key. They don't even know what BitLocker is. They all of a sudden get locked out of their computer and they can't gain access to their data without the key. And this can cause a lot of problems. Some people don't want a Microsoft account. Uh, where they can store their key or they forget where they put their key and all this sort of stuff. So yes, it is secure and it is going to protect you against a lot of things. But what do you actually keep on your system that needs hard drive encryption? Now, this news has been floating around on the Internet. I got this information from Windows Latest. And again, it says on there that Microsoft confirms Windows 11 24 H2 turns encryption on by default. Now, BitLocker is not necessarily a bad thing, uh, but it could be a big game changer for a lot of Windows users that are not used to using hard drive encryption for their storage. So your data could be lost if you lose your encryption key or you try to attempt to move that encrypted drive to another system and try to recover data that way. This is a real big problem for a lot of people that are not tech savvy with a hard drive encryption. And again, this could be all of your photos, your videos, 
your data, emails, everything will be lost on that computer if you lose your key or you try to tamper with the drive in any way by moving it to another system. You really have got to be careful when it comes to hard drive encryption. And I can see this causing major problems in the future for a lot of people. And they could probably end up losing all of their precious data. And it's all because they don't understand what it means or what it is. And it's just going to be suddenly turned on, which is not a good move, I don't think. Even if it is a really good security measure, it's probably not for everyone. Anyway, let me know what your comments are in the comments section. I'll be able to read those and uh, reply to them. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Catch you in the next one.